Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you a really useful tutorial and um, so if you have a WordPress website with GoDaddy, so I'm going to show you how you can take a backup of your WordPress website that is hosted on GoDaddy Managed WordPress Hosting. Um, as you can see here on my GoDaddy account, this website is um, using the Managed WordPress service and unfortunately uh, with this plan there is no backup solution and um, I prefer to not really really rely on the hosting provider for everything you know you, it's better to have a uh, at least one one or two copies of your WordPress backup in case something goes wrong with your hosting provider or your website gets hacked or something you know anything can happen so this is the same method I use to backup my uh, important websites and with this uh, you can keep uh, local copies of your backup on your PC on your website server and also upload a copy of it on any remote cloud storage provider like uh, Google Drive that is free to use and Microsoft storage or Amazon or any other so it includes both uh, paid and uh, free serv cloud service providers so without further delay let's start the tutorial and for this log into your WordPress admin dashboard and then on the left sidebar go to plugins and from here click on add new okay and scroll down and in the search bar here search for a plugin called updraft and this is a really amazing plugin and this is quite old and you can see here there are three plus million active installation of this plugin so you can be sure that um, it is a really good plugin and then click on install now okay it, it is installed then click on activate and this plugin has both paid and free version but um, for most sites the free version is enough and I myself use the free versions right now for a lot of my websites and then uh, once you activate it you will see the in, in the install plugins list so I will uh, recommend you to leave this option and go to again to the left sidebar and here find the settings option and here you will find this option updraft plus backups and here scroll down and you will see this option backup now first create a manual backup click on backup option and here um, this first option will um, to include your database and uh, please take this option it is really important and the second option is to include your files this is also important so include this and um, this third option what it does is it allows you to override the advanced settings which i will show you later so uh, to save this space on your server what you can do is select that um, you want to allow only two or three active backups uh, copies of backups on your servers so if you take this option it will override that setting and it will this back copy of backup will only be deleted when you delete it manually so let's click on backup now and create a backup so the backup process um, will depend on the site uh, size of your website and um, the, your server capacity so um, using the godaddy managed uh, wordpress hosting plan and the, uh, uh, in my previous testing the backup do not take much long uh, for to process so it usually take a minute so um, once it goes to the the progress bar yes so it's complete you can see i think it just took a minute or even less than that so so the backup has been created and if you want to uh, download any component database plugins themes uploads other um, what you can do is just select uh, click on it and it will create a copy ready to download on your computer so what you have to do is <coughs> um, click on download to your computer and the backup will be downloaded to your local computer okay and if you want to restore it similarly what you have to do is click on this option restore 
and it will ask you which components you want to restore and if you want to restore everything you can take all the options and it will restore everything okay so right now it will not work properly because um, because this is the only copy and uh, this is on the same state so once you click next um, you will see this option that has it has been processed and the final option is to just hit this restore button and your website will be restored so i will just go back and now and another important thing is to notice to here web server disk space used by the backup so you can see currently it is using 194 mb of disk space for uh, keeping backup copies so that's that's is uh, this is pretty much it about the uh, manual backup feature function now let's go how to you can uh, upload a copy of your backup to google drive so go to settings and here first uh, file backup schedule so this is the setting i was telling you about before and here you can select it um, so you can set it up automatic backups so you can set up like monthly uh, sorry weekly in week uh, and retain this many schedule backups too at this two backups are fine to be uh, weekly so every week or once a week a backup will be created and um, you will have copies of backup of last two weeks okay so the week when the backup is created and the last backup before that so set it up if you want you can increase the frequency and here you can set up the remote storage okay and but for before you do that um scroll down and select what you want it to be included in your backup so i will include everything here unless you know your stuff do not um you know change the settings so and uh, you can say uh, take this option so you every time a backup is created you will get a report to your email id so take that option then scroll up and here you can select any option so i will show you how to use it with google drive click on google drive and here okay select google drive and then scroll down and click on save changes okay now it will ask you for authorization so just follow this link and uh, allow google drive allow updraft to access your google drive okay so select your correct email account and then you will see what uh, permissions you are giving to updraft plus and then check this and then click on allow and then click on complete setup so that's it and now all your backups will be automatically sent to google drive okay so that's pretty much how it is and um, in case your website gets hacked or anything you know your web server gets hacked you can restore also restore your website uh, from your remote storage backup so which is really important let's create a manual backup again now if you uh, click on this manual backup options because we have configured the google drive now you can see an additional setting uh, send this backup to remote storage so if i create a backup again uh, so let's say i am not including the files just to save the disk space um, and i take this so keep this option ticked and also this option and click on backup now now this uh, backup will also be sent to my google drive okay so the backup is finished and it is also you can see the google drive icon here uh, it means the remote storage location it will uh, depending on your what you selected in the settings it will show that if it is available on the remote storage also so if i uh, select this option show all backups you can see here that in previous backup there is no remote storage icon here so i hope you found this tutorial useful and um, if you did so please leave uh, like uh, like this video and post your feedback or suggestion or any other query you have in the comments and i usually reply very promptly to comments so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video
and another important thing if you want to uh, learn how to create an e-commerce website like this uh, or create a drop shipping store completely free with WordPress you can uh, watch my other tutorial I have created exact tutorial exactly to show you how you can create a website like this so um, it is a full-fledged WooCommerce store with a store and everything so you can go to store do check that uh, take, uh, check that video it will be available in the link in the description uh, it also has a cart feature and everything so that's it